Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table are for Jake Smith, the Medford guy. He's in Florida right now, pressing the flesh, going to all these very she-she high-end shows. Uh, soon he'll be back in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, which where, is where he's based. And by that time, these knives will probably be there waiting for him to uh, probably box up and send right back out to you guys because you're going to want to buy them. So let's see what we have on the table today. I love this one right here. Just kind of almost Terminator. S35, tumbled tanto, tumbled handles. We the people, laser engraved on the handle, and blue hardware. And a blue clip. All right, Micro Praetorian T number one. The second one's a full Terminator drop point. So S35, tumbled drop point blade, tumbled handles, standard hardware and clip. This one's a micro tie. So let's just, for, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, the main difference, obviously, the thickness of the blade. This is the same thickness as a Praetorian tie blade, 0.260 inch thick. This is 0 0.190 inch. And the handles, obviously, are thick as well. So this is the uh, full-on micro tie version, S35. Oh, I'm sorry, 3V PVD drop point blade. This is our gun grip laser engraving on the handle. PVD hardware breaker and clip. The uh, color on the handles is bronze anodized. So PVD and bronze with gunner grip, very cool. This one here is our very, uh, very mellow, subdued. Now this is a coating on the handles. That's our gold coating on the handles and our PVD on the blade and clip and hardware. Nosferatu flipper. Yep, that's a Detroit special right there. Super sexy, gotta love it. Uh, Genesis T, Praetorian Genesis T, S35 Vulcan drop point. This is a classic peaks and valleys. It has been bead blasted and bronze anodized and then the, our sculpting experts went back in and did a couple macro jeweled spots where it's got a nice shiny contrast to it. Looks excellent next to the bronze pivots and just, just a standard bronze clip as opposed to brushed and bronze. That's our Genesis T. Full size Praetorian tie, nice. Stained glass handles. Uh, it's got a little bit of bronze and violet in there, commingling. Um, and it, I like that it's rough and it doesn't have any bead blasting in it, so it's got those, you can see the striation lines of the sculpting, very cool. S35 PVD drop point, PVD breaker, bronze hardware, and a brushed bronze clip. Super cool. Full thick Marauder. The first, uh, you know, when you're looking at this on video the, or in, uh, any, any pictures, the first thing you should notice are the two grooves here and the scallops. That visually is the first thing that should tell you it's Marauder. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is because the biggest identifying factor of the Marauder is again that thick blade, the 0.260 inch thick blade. This is a 3V satin drop point, blue anodized handles with brushed to silver flats. So we have a cool two-tone going on there. Blue pivots with brushed flats, so two-tone on that. And the same thing on the clip, blue anno. You see that running around the perimeters and a brush to silver flat. So two-tone blue and silver. This one here is probably my favorite on the table just because I love the contoured handles. So this is not standard for the Fat Daddy to have these beautiful rounded contours all the way around. It is quite difficult to achieve that effect, to get that nice, uh, even, consistent round contouring. And then we sent it out to PVD coating. So we have an S35 satin blade PVD contoured handles and a brush clip. Very simple and it just feels silky smooth in the handles. That contouring is just absolutely silky smooth. Fat daddy. So there you have it. As soon as that Jake there guy, he's back from out there in Florida shaking hands with all the big wigs. He's gonna be back up in some furry, like packing stuff up, eating cheese and blowing snow off the streets. So give him a shout, give him a holler. Till the next time, I'm out.